All right, guys, here's the beginning setup of the F22 Raptor from AF Models. This is applicable to any of the turbines and or the 105 millimeter setups. The only difference is that the EDF setup will have an EDF and the turbine will have the turbine. So this is all going to be pretty much the same. So without further ado, let's get this started. So what I recommend you do is that you set out all of your hardware first and just make sure you've got everything that you should. Um, what you're going to get is you're going to get all of your normal hardware and then you're going to get a spare bag that has extra hardware, all the same stuff. So you're going to have two sets of hardware. Kind of neat that it does that. And that works out well for one of the situations that we're going to do. And so what I've done is I've already, for the sake of time, got one of the things installed and I've got the front installed. So the front nose section slides up and over the landing gear. And what you've got is you've got two bolts and two washers and they all go through and then they hit the captive screw, uh, captive nuts right here and you'll tighten them up. Make sure that your fuselage is aligned. But then you also have a screw right there up and inside of the landing gear. You can see it right there. That also gets tight. So three total screws. That screw goes on the bottom and secures in there. So kind of neat. And that's easy for the nose setup. And next we will install the verticals. All right, so now we're going to install the verticals. We're going to start with the left and we're going to start with the right. Um, this actually comes with a baggie full of screws um, that is identified for the uh, the verticals and rudder and so what it does is it has two sets of screws two different each and then what goes on is that you've got 25 millimeter screws and then you have 20 millimeter screws now what you want to do is you want to essentially get rid of your 20 millimeter screws and you're going to use the 25 millimeter screws and then you're going to take your screws out of your extra kit of screws and you're going to end up utilizing four 25 millimeter screws into the verticals. So don't use your 20 millimeter, use the 25 millimeter. And I'll show you why in just a minute. All right, so the beginning of the installation, what I do is I grab my horse or my vertical I install my locking servo connection, place it as much as I can inside of the, uh, the, the little bay here for the wires. And then I utilize some of this type of glue here. Um, I've seen too many Raptors in the world. I haven't had any problems with this one but I've seen too many Raptors uh, out there to where your verticals get loose in this area right here. This whole area is super strong and doesn't flex, but I just like to make sure that I add just a little dab of this just to help secure it in place a little bit better and make sure that there is not gonna ever be any problems. So I've seen humongous composites that have this and I've seen uh, some small EDFs have this. And one of my EDFs while I was at Joe Nall ended up having this problem. And so, not to mention any names, but it was a pretty big airplane, 90 millimeter size, and uh, it ended up having problems. So, that being said, I like to add a little bit of glue inside there, and you're going to end up fitting your vertical into the spot that easy. Um, after you get both of them on, we're going to flip the airplane over and we're going to install the screws. So without showing that, we're going to do this behind the scenes. All right. So like I said, you want to make sure that you're using the 25 millimeter screws and you're going to slide them down into the area into the fuselage and then you're going to tighten these down only snug you don't want to go too tight on there because you can overdo the plastic on the inside and so again you just want to get them snug 
and then you'll go back with a hand tool and tighten them by hand. And I'm going until I feel just a slight dad of pressure on the drill. And again, I'm only doing this so that we don't have a seven hour video on installing screws. Okay, so I'm going to go back with a screwdriver and I'm going to check these by hand and make sure that they're tight. And so you want to make sure that they're snug enough. You can feel a little bit of torque on them. But you don't want to go too much on there. So we're just going to go around and do all four of these. All right. So they are snug. And that is how you install the verticals onto your AF model Raptor. Next is the horizontal stabs. All right. So next, like I said, is the horizontal stabs. So you're going to end up wanting to unscrew your mounting bolt out of the actual surface. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide it into this designed hole. And then what I recommend is that you put a little dab of CA or Loctite or any of those type of uh, vehicles to be able to actually secure this so that it doesn't ever come out. Um, that is what I recommend, just a little bit. You don't need anything crazy, just enough to hold it in place in case you ever need to take it out. And so I've literally put just a little dab of CA on it. And again, you can use Loctite. You can use whatever you need to in this area only. Do not use Loctite at all on anything plastic because Loctite eats plastic and makes it very fragile. So again, I'm using a hand tool. I'm gonna tighten that. A little bit of torque and then I'm gonna make sure that this actually moves nice and freely so we're gonna actually turn this again we'll do the same thing with the other horizontal we're going to slide it into its position we're gonna put a little dab CA on the threads. And then we're going to install the screw into its position. And then we're going to use a hand tool to get the torque you want on there. So again, make sure that it's nice and free. What you're looking for is you're making sure that there's no gaps in here, no end play by shaking this in and out and that it's nice and solid so they've done a good job on there a little bit of play but nothing i mean that's like minimal and so there you go nice and easy so there you go there is your horizontal installation pretty easy all right so the next step is your actual wing attachment so what you're going to do is you're going to slide your uh, larger carbon rod into the fuselage and then you're going to install a small carbon rod into the wing. Super simple. And then you're going to essentially just slide your wing over the carbon rod. And then into the fuselage where your quick connect will automatically connect. Afterwards, when we get both of these on, what we'll do is we'll install the two and a half millimeter screw in there. So again, connect up the main spar into the wings, and then 
that into the fuselage. <laughs> I pushed out the other side. <laughs> Voila. So now we got both of them connected. Super easy. Now you can see how the airplane is all together. So there we go. And what we're going to do next is we're going to install the screws into the wings. They are going to be in the spot position here and position there. So again, two and a half millimeters is what you're going to need for the driver. And they are in your little baggy kit. So there you go. There's our, there's our screws. HM3, 10 millimeter screws. Again, these do not need to be tight. I say that a lot with plastic because there's way too many people out there that like to hulk things. And so it's real easy to overdo something simple. And so again, I use this driver out of the field, but all I do is put them in until I feel a little resistance and then stop. It does not need to be overdone. If you go over, overdo on this, then you're gonna have fun replacing things. It's a nice and easy, simple setup there. I'm gonna slide this forward. And then you're gonna repeat for the opposite side. Pretty easy. Next thing that we're gonna end up talking about is setting up your linkages for your your verticals, your horizontals, your flaps, and your ailerons. Okay, there we go. Done is I've installed the white distribution box down there. The only thing that I didn't use in there is elevators, and my elevators are now set up inside uh, separate channels in there. And so this is what I've got for my channel setup. I've got throttle. I've got ailerons as one. Elevators as two different things, rudder as one, landing gear, flaps are also as one, but they are two, and then I've got brakes, and then I've got a gyro setup if you choose that you need to use a gyro. So eventually I'm going to put a Cortex Pro in here, um, but if you choose to use like a Hobby Eagle or you choose to use AS3X or any of these other gyros in there. You can go ahead and use that. And so that is my setup right there with 11 channels um, going for everything. And so what is important is that the, there are first step things you need to do. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in. And so sorry about that. All right, so I plugged in the BEC. I have it bound to my transmitter. Now the first thing that you need to do is you need to do a full gear cycle. And so I'm go, I got, so I'm already hitting the gear. And so you wanna make sure that your gear come down. Okay. You wanna then select your gear switch again. Make sure your gear goes up. Okay, you hear the door shut. And then you wanna bring your gear back down. And so there you go. So that is my setup so far. Now the next thing what I'm doing is I'm gonna, I'm gonna add all of my linkages to your ailerons, flaps, rudders, horizontals, and set everything to what you need. Now, what we're gonna do for setup is all of your surfaces, so your flap and your uh, ailerons, they need to be level with the outside of the airplane. And then your horizontals are gonna be slightly so if you look right here, the front of your surface is going to pretty much be right in this corner to the top of the top of the uh, horizontal. So if you can see that square, that's where you need to start. That is a good starting point. And then also your, your verticals are going to be straight and level, and that'll be your starting point. Now what I've found for surfaces for uh, expos and rates is right here. These are my settings. 
Aileron's 50% for my low. Aileron's medium rate. 55 for Aileron's medium. High rate. High rate 60. Aileron's low rate. Elevator. Elevator low rate 45. Elevator medium rate. 55. Elevator high rate. 8265. Now you may want to ask why do I have 65 on my nose down? That is because that is the point in which the surface will touch the vertical. And so I have that dumbed down just a little bit, but I still get more elevator on up. Rudder. My rudder low rate. 40. Rudder medium. 50. Rudder high rate. And 78 or 80. Now, what does this mean? You're 78 close to 80. When you put your linkages on there, you've got limitation amounts where the surface touches there and touches on this side. And so you do not want to be maxed out on there and there. And so whatever your number represents for your high amount so that they don't touch there and there, that is what you're going to want for your higher rate. So that higher may change. Um, and so again, this is the EDF version. And so the EDF will be getting installed. I'm going to put the JP105 in there. And within the inside right there, that is where the Hobby Wing ESC is going to go. And it will route all the way to the front. And that is what we're going to do. This is our new through and through system for the EDF where you've got clean ducting all the way from the front of the fuselage, straight all the way to the exhaust of the airplane. And so that is the fine, that is the setup. It's pretty simple. I'm not gonna show you linkages, but linkages are uh, described, prescribed in the manual. Utilize the settings there and happy flying everybody. And so there you go. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'll do my best to answer those. And three, two, one, out.